Warning. This video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised. Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to mod or cheat on your PS4 games. Uh, now by doing this uh, you are going to need a program uh, on your PC and obviously you're going to need a jailbroken PS4, uh, preferably on 5.05, .05, which I'm on. I will show you now, just to show I am on 5.05. .05. I am recording this on my PC, so I have the OBS open so you can see um, see my PC and see the preview screen. As you can see, 5.05 .05 and my PS4 is jailbroken. If you go up to user guide, if you've seen my previous video on how to jailbreak, you understand how to do it. Uh, I highly recommend to do that so you know, understand how to use the jailbreak exploit. Um, but yeah, so this is the the interface. Um, we are going to be using two things in here. Um, if Obviously 5.05 .05 is the one I'm using so I will click that one. Uh, two things we are going to be using. Our bin loader. This uh, used to be called original. If you are familiar with an older version of uh, the exploit, there was an option called original, and it allowed you to basically put um, uh, load in bin files that are payloads into this uh, exploit uh, from your PC, and uh, basically all they've done is just change the name. Um, but this is the first one we are going to want to use, so keep that in mind. Um, I will close out for now because uh, first thing we got to do is go into your PS4 network and find out your IP address. As you can see, there's mine there. Mine's uh, 192.168.1.154. So write that down, or well, write your own one down. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I've got got it saved on my phone, so I know um, what mine is. Once you've done that, uh, you're pretty much um, done on here for now. Let me just put it here. Now, in the description, there is going to be a link to the software, like I mentioned, in uh, on this website. And this is the software that you need to be able to um, basically mod um, or hack your games and cheats to get cheats for them. All you want to do is scroll down till you get to the download part and click this download link here. Once you have downloaded it, just put it on your desktop or wherever you want to save it. Mine is here on the desktop. Uh, just open it up. Uh, I will mention before getting it to work properly um, this is what the icon looks like but when I initially downloaded it there was uh, no icon for it and it kept automatically deleting itself and I was getting errors and stuff that was because my uh, antivirus software was trying to block it because it thinks it's a virus but it's totally safe there's nothing wrong with it um, but yeah, just make sure that your anti antivirus software is disabled and you should be all right. Uh, mine is. So when I load it up, just double click on it. It's called the community community trainer, uh, tr trainer sorry. Uh, and that's the version of it right there. Uh, it's really nice and simple on how to use this. Um, all you need to do is go down to this button here, this tab. And all you need to do is enter your IP address. So I will do that now. Okay, and once you've entered the IP address, um, leave the port the same. And that's that's all you have to do there. Now just go back to your PS4. And what you want to do is now load up that uh, bin loader, like I mentioned. So five. Uh, I want to load 5.05, .05, just let it load, 5.05, .05, and then bin loader, just let that load. Now, as you can see, it says awaiting payload, that's a good sign. Uh, now, you just go back to your PC, so minimize that, and in the software, what you want to do is 
uh, come up to the top here and click uh, inject payload so as soon as I click that I'll go back to the PS4 and it's gonna load as you yeah there was a little loading uh, symbol there um, on the software and as you can see it says successfully loaded uh, on your PS4 that little pop up there uh, just now just go back to software or well, I can leave that open in the software um, just go to click on trainer and now it's going to bring up all the games that are actually um, hackable moddable um, allows you to have cheats it's just downloading the trainer just give it some time there we go um, it should update um, every so often and there should be more games added to it but so far this is all the games that they have on this trainer um, it's, it's quite a nice selection uh, they like I say they will put more on here the only downside to it um, just if you see a game that you do have uh, doesn't always necessarily mean it's going to work because you have to read uh, for, for an example Far Cry 5 I have that on my um, on my uh, PS4 but it has to be the same uh, game ID which this version is not uh, you have to make sure the get firmware of the game is on the same so usually either on the base firmware or higher firmware um, or the uh, ID has to be the the same as the one that's on your console and unfortunately the Far Cry one is not but the only one that is out of all the games that I do own on this list uh, is Minecraft. So for that example, I will show you that. Um, what you want to do is on the PS4, push the home button. Uh, load up the game that you obviously want to mod. So um, mine is Minecraft. Just click on it. I'm going to give it a second to load into the game. As you can see, it's loading in the background. And okay, so now just load up or just double click on the Minecraft icon. And there you go, as you can see, it does pop up there saying uh, that it's detected the Minecraft. Um, on the software, you can see down the side, this is all the cheats that allow you, well, allow you to cheat basically. So you've got Infinity Health, might as well turn that on. No Hunger, might as well have that on as well. Infinity item throw, that's pretty good. And infinity item build, might as well have that one as well. So you can either turn them all on if you want, or just a few, just depending on whatever you want to do. So now they will turn on. It's as simple as that. They they're loaded into the game. Just um, just load up a a game. For example, um, I'll just create a new world. Okay, so now we're into the game. Uh, for an example, it says obviously I had infinity health. Oh, let me just actually, let's uh, grab these candles. Say I wanted unlimited candles. Um, just grab, pick them all up. Go into the box. Um, now you can pick them up like you would usually. And if you push triangle, uh, or sorry, square, as you can see, you drop them, but I still have two. I could drop, keep pushing square. And as you can see, I've got 16 now. Keep pushing it. Yep, there we go. I've got unlimited candles pretty much now. And obviously, if I keep pushing X like this, I can load up my inventory full of them. Uh, obviously, I don't want that many, many candles. But uh, let's do the height drop. So for the health and the hunger, my hunger will never go down. 
hopefully this isn't lagging because I'm recording double the amount. Let me just break that so I can climb it. Let's climb up here. Okay, so if I drop off here, I should hurt myself. As you can see there, it made the sound and obviously my health uh, flashed, but it didn't go down. So yeah, it successfully worked. Everything seems to be working fine with this game. Uh, like I said, all you have to do is just make sure that the version of the game is compatible with the one on the software. And you're pretty much able to mod your games. So that's pretty much it really. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smack the like button. Stay tuned for more jailbreaking videos coming soon. So as always, comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.